Okay, so here we are back into the game. Now, uh, I have realized something. I have a lot of games downloaded. I might need to delete some of them. Uh, but um, each video of an hour ish takes about 10 gigabytes of space in my computer. And as I said, I have a lot of games. I'm almost full out of the memory <coughs> with the what, three videos that I have so far. So I might need to stop recording and just uh, wait until they upload and delete them from my my drive to be able to record more. But at least four I can record. And yeah, that's how little memory I have left in my computer. So, yep, uh, let's go ahead and get into the game immediately. So we just have deep storage mission. So let's go ahead and do that. Stupid of me. <laughs> Scanning target, no type and material detects of any sensor reset. Warning, suit integrity damaged. How the fuck if it's already gone? That's crap. I can help you. Diagnosing. Like Bruising, right abrasions, there. fatigue. Nothing like threatening. Try to relax. There. Oh. Better. You can fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Contact and qualified engineer. system. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. And something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the arboretum. I'll see if I can find another way up. Got it. There's a route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. This is security chief Elazar. Who the hell shut down the elevators and airlocks? Answer me. My team's locked down tight here. We need those lifts working. Sam, it can't be a power loss, can it? I don't think so, chief. The main lift and all the airlocks shut down at once. It had to be manual. Damn it. 
First they give us pop guns, put us on babysitting duty, then open the gates of hell and lock us in. Transtar's going to need an army of lawyers when I get Earthside. Anyone else on the station, get to a safe area. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling. Then seal yourself in. We're working on the problem, and we'll be there to retrieve you as soon as we can. <sighs> Elazar out. Elias, you left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec center crew facilities, and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Turns out Yuri Kimura is like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. Metri to Elias. Okay. Can we head? No. Hello, Morgan. This time we spoke. My code name is December. My purpose is to help you escape Talos 1. I know your memory shot full of holes, but you left instructions that the Typhon should break containment. Alex has a private escape pod. You made a copy of his launch key and hid it in the Neuromod division, along with a supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your map. I'll contact you again when you've got the key. Okay, we're gonna actually go ahead and do that one first. I just don't want any typhoon to get in there. That's why I love it. Now, if you like pain, you can actually do the leverage thing that I showed you in the second floor in a vent and actually get into that area and you can get uh, well, several things in there. And as I said, is if you like uh, pain because my gosh, it's a difficult area to... Really hard. was one of them known Beth Bethesda glitches. <laughs>
this is what we could have gotten since the beginning, but they just didn't want to do it before December called it. Just to follow a little story. Sorry Morgan, I'm not sure how you manage this, but I can't let you have this keycard. Trust me, you'll regret it. Alex. That's unfortunate. We'll have to improvise. Be back in the foyer. Your office isn't safe. Integrity damaged. You see why it is important to have everything loaded? And I can't believe that they didn't see this stupid phantom. It was hiding here, it was like crouching here. That's interesting. I have never seen them do that. And now I'm screwed. I need to go back to the office first to get more, more ammo because I don't have ammo at all. That operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. Did you find something interesting? Hello, are you here for an appointment? Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. This won't take long. There, all better. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable.
That's how you kill them. Annoying poor rigs. Believe me, uh, right now you saw in the recycler machine I have a lot of materials, but that's going to run away fast, faster than you think it would. The Guts is a really dangerous place. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Huh? If we have hack two, we would be able to get another turret to put it in here and help us because these guys are ill. I always like to have uh, non-quick save points, so that anything bad happens I can go back to those.
unless it went up there. But... <laughs> there were four. Were they? Psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech. Swan, use it to scan the type and organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. And I am going to scan the pretty crawlies, but I am not actually. See, you can save yourself a little bit. I knew there was a fourth one. And I do believe there is another ghost somewhere around there. Psychoscope required beyond this point. specimens around you. Once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years... Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. Scan complete. More specimens required. Good. Sending you the code to a safe and direct to Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. Do that, and maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. Not gonna happen. Mother's models postulated that the mimic reformed its molecular structure, actually replicating the atomic makeup of target object. We now hypothesize that mimics are not changing shape at all. When they mimic an object, they mi the mimic is no longer objectively present in this universe. The mimic swaps with an object in a parallel reality, but maintains a conscious link, a kind of paradimensional entanglement to the object in our universe. Okay, so let's see what 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 
should I get? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Necropsy because I don't need that. I am going to install, well, get more psionic aptitude because of this and uh, chipsets. Some of those are actually very useful, but that's pretty much it, so props. <laughs> scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. something that is going to be a little bit stupid but well, I don't know if I can actually there is a corrupted thing here but oh yeah I can do it so I am going to go in here even though it might be a little bit stupid that was not what I thought I intended that, that I wanted to go where, where? what? Where was... So how a weaver is created from a corpse of a mimic, I have no idea, it doesn't make sense and is, I believe, not explained, but that's how weavers are created. Dr. Kelsrup, per your request, Dr. Tokayo was sent to trauma. Her fingers could not be recovered. 37 is isolated and under continual watch. Security will perform regular checks on his physical condition. Dr. Helen Barker. Full report still pending concerning the last experiment with 37. The Typhon Psychosocrates, no, Psychocrates initially evidenced the interest in the subject, but then failed to colonize Soviet's mind. Developed a strong aversion, in fact. Experiment halted at 5.01.30. At M user request. 
37 Central Recovery. While 37 has a history of psychological instability, the event seems to have inflicted additional trauma. Both, uh, both MU and AU have agreed that 37 should be held until we can determine the origin of 37's peculiar resistance to the type of psychocrates. Sanjay Puri. Akaji's injury. Dr. Kelstrom. Patient Akaji insists she got her hand caught in a piece of machinery, but her wounds show evidence of bite marks. Human bite marks. Someone bit her finger off. When I asked security if they could find her fingers so I could at least reattach them, they said the machine had grounded the pump. What is going on? Thanks, Elizabeth Bay. Our esteemed colleague, Dr. Gallegos, is uh, posing a problem. Let's talk via looking glass ASAP. Let's hope I don't die. That is just to test the theory here. I'll tell you about it. Calvino, what did you do to my conference room? Eh? Oh, 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 y yes. I was uh, just about to call you. All I see is a dot. Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Uh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino, I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. And that, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, is a non-tech savvy person getting angry because he's asked to perform a very basic task. He's not the technician, quote unquote. He shouldn't be doing that, quote unquote. Uh, that's something I hate about my job. I mean, I love IT, but I hate when people behave like that. I'm asking you to press one thing, do it. It's not gonna kill you. So, let's hope I don't screw this up. Uh, you'll see what I mean. going to waste a charge if it didn't do anything so I'm going to put it a little bit farther back oh. uh, and yeah my theory was I closed that door so that it couldn't get in and it was already in here so it's hidden somewhere so let's do this did I already collect the things behind here yes already okay so let's do it what the hell? Suit integrity damaged. Oh, probably it was his blast. I, I'm, I'm going to try it once more. It was probably his blast because he saw me. But it does come from up here, so what if I just put this here? Let's wait and see.
Warning, suit integrity damaged. Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. And it practically did nothing, so time wasted for a moment. Yay! Wonder. Sorry guys, I can try it once more, but I am going to actually drop it to him. I'm not going to, to actually place it there, I'm just going to throw it. Medikit, medikit. So you know, that works better. I didn't scan it, but that's not my priority since I am not going to actually, you know, do it. Do, like, do the powers. So let's create newer mods. Yay! this might happen. Our lead Neuromod engineer, Alden Graves, hit a kill switch in the license for Neuromod plans. Shame. He was a solid engineer. I think he was suspicious of the more exotic components. You'll need to use this workstation to reset the license. His office is in the Neuromod division. Hans, we need to talk about Annalise Gallegos. What? That was there? Okay then. So I am going to do the Neuromod, not the... Psychotronics, the whole Psychotronics thing first. I'm not going to actually open this door. I have a window to enter. And I'm not going to break that one. So there's just one point of entry. And that's just me being me. Yeah. I am going to, to do this uh, psychotronics first. And then I am going to try, as if I don't die a lot, I am going to actually start the video uh, in there. Um, this video might be shorter, I don't know. I am going to try and start the video directly in the psychotronics place where the office of Kelstrup is so that um, if I die a lot Hello. at least you raise the first part <laughs> so yeah first of all let's okay, I have eight that's good there is the wish too I could use more space. I can do I am going to do that. And I can do a 
opens the gate, the door for a lot of things, but... Yeah, it's easier three than four, so it's gonna open a lot of doors. And let's see, cycles comes. Less damage from fire, that's good. Hello, Dr. Yu. Should I change position? Here is Psychotronics because we need to access the guts. So I am going to go to the second floor first and then we're going to the guts. Okay, let's see. I think there is something down here. Nothing. Okay. Dr. Gear. I hate that noise I make. Fire there. So can harm them. Warning, suit integrity damaged. We are free of those. There is a mimic around here. I know there is. Typhoon, my messes or mimesis or mimesis or whatever, part one. Using Mons Bauer's spectroscopy, uh, we track hyperfine splitting of an isotope embedded in the target object. In this case, a standard transcribed coffee mug. The creature seems to have a weird affinity for them. The mimic, if the mimic actually altered its atomic structures to duplicate the target object uh, when then, we would expect the reading to be consistent in the duplicated object. When the alteration occurred, the reading was present but the frequency had changed. The new object was on a different time scale than the original. Thank you. 
More specimens required. And place your bets on how this actually works. My money's a number two, obviously. Hallucinogenic field. Mimics project a field that causes observers to think they see the object. Longer dimension. Mimics wrap places with uh, the object in a swap. Places with the object in a parallel universe and stays connected via a wormhole. 3. Transmutation. Mimic reconfigures its atoms and molecules while maintaining its own subjective consciousness. After the last six months here, I'm going with 4. Magic. Dome Taker. Dome Taker 3. Pilgrimage to the author key of the damned arrived with my last room. Let me know if you'd like a download. The caves are all handcrafted. Does Lanzetta ring the bells? Dr. Gus Lanzetta. What if I told you he worked with us for a week? One week. The week before the entire science staff had last orders new or multi removed. He left his badge in a locker. I had IT look up his account and it had all been deleted. All but his credentials. Who the hell was he? Fascinating. There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments, like frozen light. The typhon wave it out of the thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. <laughs> I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. Rory, I've loaded another nightlight as requested. Opt the psycholuminescence, and this time the Typhoon auto follow the lure like imprinted, unimprinted document. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. through the walls. Son of a bitch is gloating, I know it. How are you holding up? I dropped a couple of nightlights to lure the phantoms away. Put sticky notes on every goddamn thing I'm sure isn't a mimic. You? Good. Safe inside the armory. Squashed a mimic that slipped in, but that's it. I got everything sealed tight. What's our plan? Wait for rescue? <laughs> you know, if we make it, Alex is just going to pull our... Guts. You want to remember this shit? I think we could get out through the guts. Work our way up to the Arboretum. <sighs> okay. Say the word. May I explain how Minix arrived here and how at least the one survived in the, vac in the vacuum inside the Kletka for so long? They can move to an adjacent dimensional bubble. Now, where time passes much more slowly, shifting back with the appropriate stimulus, e.g. prey, from the mimic pers mimic's perspective. A six million, from the mimic's perspective, a six million journey to our solar system, in 
the form of an iron meteor might only take a few seconds. These things are the ultimate trapdoor spiders. Status, report 37. 37 has shown signs of further instability in the last 24 hours. Subject demonstrated more with curiosity in small objects around him, attempting to place them in his mouth and consume them. Nutritive and non-nutritive. Initial diagnosis would seem to be a rapid onset beacon, but there was no evidence of this prior to exposure to the telepath. We are not ruling out suicide attempts, although the subject is making an effort to hide it. I'll be performing an endoscopic exam next shift to make sure nothing is lodged in the esophagus or in the intestines. Dr. Helen Baker comes. Barker comes. 37 still under suicide watch. As requested, the prisoner hasn't been given any sedatives to keep his system clean for upcoming surgery. No food either. Only water. He doesn't do much except rock back and forth, staring at the same point at the wall and mumbling to himself in Ruski. Can't make out what he's saying. He's made no attempt to hurt himself that we've seen. This volunteer does not seem to be suicidal. He seems disoriented, uh, like he's sleep drunk. Second officer, security officer's name. Yeah, original name. Encephalectomy. Helen, I think we've gotten just about all we're going to get out of 37 by talking. I wanted to schedule surgery with him next few days. Let's get it out and onto analysis as soon as possible. Into, not onto. Scanning target, no type and material detected. Oh, so here is how this works. And it, there is actually a queue in there, you see underneath the screen. That's There's a metaphor here, you know? Typically the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system, to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. <laughs> I need to report in 37's condition in the tries in my transcribed ASAP Mitsu. Either that psychos uh, the luckiest person in orbit or worse, so we've got some problem with we have feeding the type. And that can't happen again. Morgan said something about wanting to visit 37, but that's low priority. He was practically responsive before if before. If nothing pans out, I'm going to prep 37 for an encephalotomy. Plant mirror neurons in the from it's up to carry to more and you minor neurons. I'm going to bring it up again. Next turn the meeting. Will you support me? Sure. Alex will probably shoot it down, but uh, say but say the idea gets off the ground. Still have to be questions. What's the test environment and whose neurons are we talking about putting in them? Volunteers are no go. In light of what we now know the Typhon are capable of, and not capable of, it seems prudent to revisit the Project Cobalt material. Ah, Igor, neuromods can already adapt Typhon material to the human mind. There's no reason in principle the reverse wouldn't work. Say you manage to insert human neurons into a Typhon. How will you know it was successful? 
the new neural structures would need to mature over a series of actual experiences. Or simulated ones. What? Simulate the experiences. Calvino. He has... Right, okay, look, it's fascinating, but let's focus on what we know is working. I don't want anyone devoting resources to this. Save here. Oh, actually, I did. Let's. There, you stupid a hole. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. I'll have you feeling better soon. Good as new. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. You know what? I'm not going to risk it because I know that I am going to get another scare there. Not really a scare. So screw this fire. I know it is damaged there. Typhoons, but I don't want to go all the way around. Research complete. I'm going to take my friend here to that side. You know something I really found uh, interesting in the not funny kind of way? Yes. I am out of place. Hello, nice to see you. This is how um Eradicator Auditory version 0.7 CLC got uh, a little bit further. The DLC got many more advanced things. Whoops! Eradicator Auditory uh, version 0.7.6. Online. Deploying. I mean, if they knew that they were going to put a DLC, they should have done it uh, to the inverse. The DLC should have had less than the DLC was supposed to be in the past, you know? Before this incident. I'm saying that about the DLC because I am not going to play it, and that might have been assholeish of my on my end because <laughs> some of you might play it. I'm sorry, uh, get a bit of a of a spoiler there. Yeah, I said it already, so let's continue talking about that. So yeah, I. It mimics. Wow, should I? At least they have a sniper for us totally. Ah. 
they get to scan. Um, if they knew that they were into a DLC, they should have, like, make it so that the DLC has Deploying. all these things, or at least the same target. thing, no because detected. the DLC Checking has many updates. more Servers offline. options for the player, so yeah. They were actually too effective. And there were four, not eight. So that's that. Let's take it back here. Oh, so that's blocked. Now nah, let's just put it here. Version 0 0.7.6 online. Who puts a banana peel in a baseball glove in a bookcase? Hello, Dr. Kelstra? I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extra national space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrup. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. I really don't understand those that die frozen. Like, how does that happen? But yeah, poor Annalise, she was having a case of the guilt. And she wanted to do something about it. And she died. That's not important. It's not that long, but it's not important. So you can pause it to read it. Yeah, and that was an idiotic move on my end, but yeah. The volunteers' transfer sentences are senses are redeemable. So should that sentence to die for their crimes. We are neither judge nor jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to the benefit of all humanity. Read the file on 13 of unit assurance. It's unlocked in the extraction lab. And I'm an idiot. I managed to lock my morgue key card in the morgue. Kelstrup thinks I'm an imbecile as it is. Have any ideas? <laughs> Where's the medical operator? They always disappear. I freaking hate that. 
I mean, it's cool that they move around and they are random and stuff, but when they disappear, they go like that. They, they go... Oh well, this one is not like, like that. You'll see. You'll see when we, we get to the Arboretum what I mean. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Diagnosing, Why are you bruising, so high? abrasions, oh, fatigue. No. Nothing like that. Please, hold still. This will only take a moment. There. All better. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hello. Take a good look. You probably didn't see Everything that. happening on Talos 1 started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. So I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon. But this proved impossible. There's the rebound. Those structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. They have no speech of their own, no language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. Live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Before doing that, I am going to go to the bottom part here. There's Operator the approach. <laughs> Analyst Gaius to Damien Lee. I'm gonna dispose Damien. Kelsrup wants to discuss some urgent matter. The science operator lets itself in the morgue by the half hour on the dot every day. Shadow it and sleep it. That's something that we are missing in here. The only way to check the time is in here. You don't have a watch right now. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles movies? Up until I had that second Combinatorics, uh, com your mode is solved. Now they can't even elicit a chuckle. I'm not imagining this, am I? I did enjoy it, right? Haley is happy about it. Ever since she scrutinized my ever move. How much hot sauce I use, where I put my shoes before bed, shit, even my handwriting. You'd say you're still the same person you were before your mods went in, wouldn't you? Coming through. Coming through, but are you a medical operator? 
This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. don't have any more psychoscope chipset so I'm not gonna do this one yet. <laughs> Examination theater compromised. Ah! Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Well, that's bullshit. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. 
Warning, examination theater oh, compromise. And I don't have any stupid grenades. Let, let me see if I can actually go to you. Warning, examination right theater compromised. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Hello. Hello, Dr. Hugh. Let's see this way. No, it's not this way. This way. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I meant it out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just... That storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh-huh. I understand. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Uh, hey. You can pause it. Uh, what are you reading? I need to... A rap sheet, huh? Show. Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a... Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. I should have waited until he finished talking, but yeah. Insertion complete. Well. Now you're the one person that showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's eight seven one four. Let's 
good stuff in here. Well, maybe there's a spare pistol. I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but you freed him anyway. I'm curious if it was compassion or was there some other motive? I can only act in ways that advance my directive. The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but you're human. You have a choice. Yeah, well, I need access to this and I couldn't wait until uh, we were... This is a bad man all round, but let's see. Can I? He's not a good man, but more humans survive, right? <laughs> okay. So let's. And there we go. Just in case, I, I sometimes forget to save. Always save, guys. This is in normal, and I'm still dying. Warning: Emanation theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning, examination theater compromised. Warning. Warning, examination theater compromised. Specimens required. Warning, examination theater compromised. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. Inspector, you know what we discovered? I'll match that for you. They lack mirror neurons. All their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Star's last ditch defense against an outbreak. Flimsy, but they're easy to fabricate. Best part is the built-in psychoscope tech. They can discriminate between alien and human targets. Shouldn't be a problem for you, since you're not an alien. I was 
was I supposed to open that one? Let's bring this one here for some ALP. Eradicator Auto Droid version 0 0.7.6 online. How are we supposed to open this one? Scanning target, no type of material detected. I need to actually access the arboretum because that way I can uh, open the elevator and I don't need to be doing the all the way around thing. So we need to finish the guts thing. So I have to get some water so that I don't get parched. These tunnels run the entire length of the station, mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities, power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption.
Again, there is many ways to lose something. Well, at least a couple. So, yeah.
That radiation indicates that there is something else around here, but I don't see another nest. Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake. I'll be fine. I hate January. I freaking hate him. What's the matter? He's... He's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call security, I tried... Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Morning. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so... I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God. I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm going to find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. Sean, just Dalton has been shown up for his workstation for three days now. We're falling behind on the black box project due to his absence and Lenson Cooperative. I'd rather not get to Thorstein involved. Uh, please let me know if you have any information. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five. Four. Three. Two. One.
Notation. The scale and frequency of the magnetosphere's plasma release pulses have been steadily increasing to safe levels. We are currently investigating potential causes and fixes. At their present scale, the effects are interfering with nearby electronics and stability of Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five, four, three, Should I change two, position? one. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, yeah, two, one. Microgravity detected. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one.
Don't let them do this to you. The entire Typhon ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment zone. Right here. Until now. Okay, so I, I am going to try to get to Josh Dalton because it's in the guts so that we don't have to come back here later on. We're already here. So to save time, let's try find Josh Dalton. It is difficult because there is a couple of big ones in here. So it is very difficult. But I'll try it. Back to the station to find your stalker. I forgot that. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. This is Chief Engineer Illusion. The power plant has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sir? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam, he's right. These things, smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact, all right? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can load myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe, then call. Shit. Hello, 
Lane. Josh, what the hell is this? I got a security request saying to... <sighs> it's not funny, asshole. You know what's not funny? Taking credit for my design. That's what this is about? I'm senior on the Black Box Project, Josh. That's how it works here. If you weren't such a piss-poor team player, you'd understand that. Oh, and by the way, I had to fix a bunch of your calculations, so it's not you... Seriously? You're recording this? <laughs> what, is, is this a big sting operation, Josh? You gonna hand me over to the DA? <laughs> You're so pathetic. I'm done here. Josh, what are you doing? Let's just see how good my calculations are. I swear to God, if you don't put that down, I will rip it out of your sweaty hands and... Josh! There we go, the Arboretum. So, I'm going to stop the video here because it has been for a, been going on for a while and... Well, there's a lot of things to do in the Arboretum, so I am just going to stop it here and we'll continue later on. Uh, thank you very much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, it helps me a lot. And I'll see you later.